Hello friends. Today our discussion is on road roughness and its measurement. Road roughness is a key indicator of road condition. It refers to the irregularities or unevenness of the pavement surface or you can say a longitudinal deviation of a pavement surface from a true flat or planar surface. This is the planar surface and this deviation can be of different nature. It can be a microstructure, macrostructure, mega structure and the unevenness. And here in the end, this is the vertical profile. This is not the road roughness. So it is natural gradient. Now these roughnesses create different forms of unwanted vibrations in the vehicle. The PR technical committee on surface characteristics has specified frequency domains for various surface characteristics. And for micro, the wavelength is less than 0.5 millimeter and amplitude is 0.2 millimeter or less. Similarly, for macro and for mega structures, we classify it as a roughness when wavelength is more than 500 millimeter and amplitude is more than 5 millimeter. Road roughness can have impact on several factors of transportation. One is effect on road safety. Roughness can increase the risk of accidents due to reduced control on vehicles. And there are several studies conducted around the world which indicate that when IRI increases on the road, crash rate will also increase. And generally it is linear. But some researchers have found that these data points follow the non-linear relationship also. The second is the vehicle operating cost. Rough roads increase the fuel consumption, tire wear and vehicle maintenance cost. And again there are studies which indicate that how the vehicle operating cost increases with road roughness. This is the line for IRI equal to 4 mm per kilometer. This is for 5, 6 and 7. These are the graph for varying speed of the movement for level road and these are for rolling terrain. The effect of IRI on rolling terrain is little less as compared to in plain area or on level roads. The third is the effect on vehicle riding comfort. Ro rough roads lead to bumpy and uncomfortable ride and it becomes very difficult to maintain the desired speed on rough roads. Therefore, measurement of roughness on a road is a regular exercise during maintenance period. It is also used as a parameter of quality control during construction of flexible and rigid pavements. There are four classes of roughness measurement devices based on their accuracy and speed of measurement. Class 1, Class 2, Class 3 and Class 4. Class 1 equipment gives higher standard of accuracy which enable precision measurement of payment surface profile. Examples are road and level, TRL beam which is similar to 3 meter straight edge, dipstick, Merlin and walking profilometer. Class 2 profile is measured as the basis of direct computation of IRI, low accuracy as compared to class 1 measurement. And in class 3, you have response time road roughness measurement system like automatic road unevenness recorder, bump integrator, graphometer, car axle mounted bump integrator and a few more. And class 4 measuring device is not exactly the device but it is based on visual inspection or riding experience and these methods are used in situations where high accuracy is not required. Now here in this table, the class 3 instruments or devices are response time road roughness measuring system. Systems that rely on measuring the movement of a suspension system in response to the unevenness of road surface traveled by a vehicle called response time road roughness measuring system. In general, the majority of data on roughness collected in India is obtained by using RTRRMS that is response time road roughness measuring system and fifth wheel bump indicator is one of them. But there are several 
types of imaging devices which are listed in IRC SP 16 2019 laser profilometer, ultrasonic sensor based profilometer, fifth wheel bump integrator, automatic road animus recorder, car axle mounted bump integrator, and accelerometer based equipment. A profilograph is an instrument used to measure road roughness by recording the vertical profile of a pavement surface, typically used for construction inspection, quality control and acceptance of jig pavements. A profilograph is a low speed profile measurement system that consists of a rigid frame, a center profiling wheel and support wheels for a datum. Profilographs exist in a variety of different forms configurations and brands. The major differences among the various profilographs involve the configuration of the wheels and the operation and measurement procedures of various devices. A walking profilometer is an inglometer based system with high repeatability. The walking platform gives the operator more control at a slower pace than a vehicle mounted unit. In the case of a California profilograph, a 25 foot frame is assembled in three pieces on top of supporting wheels. Profilographs have a sensing wheel mounted to provide for free vertical movement at the center of the frame. The deviation against a reference plane established from the profilograph frame is recorded on graph paper from the motion of the sensing wheel and it can detect very slight surface deviations or undulations up to about 6 meter in length. The Romdas laser profilometer module is a class 1 inertial profiler and it conforms to ASTM E950. It uses a combination of laser and accelerometer to measure the longitudinal elevation profile of the road for high degree accuracy at high speeds. The profile is analyzed to calculate IRI value for the road surface. The next in the category is network survey vehicle. This system primarily consists of infrared laser height sensors, precision accelerometer and a distance measuring unit and PC to capture the results. The complete system is composed of hardware and software that is mounted to a vehicle according to requirement of the data. And all data is collected in real time, displayed on a flat panel for operators viewing, record on hard drive for further analysis and can also be sent to the printer for graphical report. Fifth wheel bump integrator or automatic road unevenness recorder is the instrument which is response time road roughness measuring device. It is a low cost device fitted onto the back of a trailer and the trailer connects to a rubber tire via chases. It is an in indigenous device which comprises of a standard pneumatic wheel mounted within a rectangular frame with single leaf spring on the either side. And this spring dashboards mounted on the leaf spring provide damping for the suspension. This integrating unit here mounted on one side of the frame integrates the unevenness in centimeter. For the purpose of measurement this is stored by a jeep at a constant speed of 16 miles per hour or 32 km per hour under standard tire pressure of 2.1 kg per centimeter square along the designated wheel path and bumps in centimeter and corresponding road length in terms of wheel revolution pulses are displayed or recorded on a panel board. Vehicle or car mounted bump integrator is also a response type device and this unit is mounted in the dickey on the rear axle of a car like this. This is the pulley here that is the floor of the dickey of the car or jeep and that is the bump integrator unit. This unit integrates the unevenness in centimeter or pulses. There are two sensors one each for the bump and distance measurement together with the recording system. 
and that is how it is mounted on the axle and this unit is capped in the dicky floor of the car. The, for measurement, the vehicle is run at a speed of 32 km per hour as in the case of bump integrator. The ARRB refurbiter 3 and 4, this is a high speed device used for measuring payment surface roughness and this can be run at a speed of 40 to 60 km per hour. It provides a simple, portable and highly repeatable measurements of road roughness on sealed and unsealed roads. And this Ruffometer 4 is a World Bank Class 3 response time device that measures IRI directly from the axial moment using a precision accelerometer. Dipstick is also a precise electronic digital level and profiler. This can be used to collect relatively small quantity of payment profile measurement. The Dipstick profiler consists of an inclometer enclosed in a case supported by two legs separated by 305 millimeter or 12 inch. Two digital displays are provided, one here at this end, another end at this end. Each display reads the elevation of the lag at its end relative to the elevation of the other lag. A marking is made on the road and the operator walks the tip stick on this line by alternatively pivoting the instrument about each lag. And reading here, are recorded sequentially as the operator traverses the section. And this device records 10 to 15 readings per minute. It is commonly used to measure a profile for calibration of more complex instruments. Some instruments provide roughness in terms of IRI directly, whereas some instruments provide in terms of unevenness index or roughness index, like fifth wheel bump integrator that provides you bumps in millimeter per kilometer. And you can use these equations to convert either IRI to RI or RI to IRI. Now here IRI is International Road Roughness Index in meter per kilometer and UI is Unevenness Index or Roughness Index in millimeter per kilometer. IRC SP16 2019 provides acceptable criteria for Roughness index or IRI value for different categories of roads. For state highway, national highway, and expressway, this is the table. For different surfacing, for between surfacing, for good quality, fair road surface, or poor road surface, these are the limits specified in the code. And similarly, for MDR and ODR, again three conditions road surface good, fair, and poor. And you have different types of surfacing here, like surface dressing, OGPC, or mixed surfacing, semi-dense between concrete, between concrete, or cement concrete, and these are the limits of RI and IRI. And a similar table is given for low category road, that is village roads, for different types of surfacing. And for good, fair, and poor condition of road surface, these are the IRI value. So, Friends, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any question, you can write in the comment box.